you call the plane the F-35 Lightning II, the report says the plane can't fly within 25 miles of a lightning storm because of the possibility it might ignite the oxygen in the fuel tanks. True statement, but let's put the context on, on that scenario. Well, it doesn't sound very safe, does it? Um, that's why we don't allow our pilots today down at Eggland and at Yuma and at Pax River and, and at Edwards to fly when there is lightning within 25 nautical miles because the airplane systems today are, are still vulnerable to that. But, but let me give you the context of, of, of the problem. Normally, and when I say normally, in an acquisition program where you're developing an airplane and then later on you produce that airplane and there's not much overlap, the protections that you put in to protect the airplane against lightning would occur at the end of the development program long before you've produced so many airplanes. But we have this concurrency issue on the program where I have 51 airplanes out in the field today and not all the lightning protection has been fully designed because some of it, quite frankly, was not designed well and we have to redesign it and other parts of it just have not caught up with the design process yet. So I have airplanes in the field that we know should not be flying around lightning. Will this problem occur in the future? No, because we have the known fixes for it and we will fix it. But today, you're absolutely right. The airplane cannot fly in lightning. Um, in the future, will it be able to? Absolutely.